Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, this video is going to be about the issues that I am having with my car right now. Unfortunately, I was shopping at Walmart and uh, got back to my car and my car won't start. Um, I'm a little bit peeved by this. Obviously, if you're in the same situation, you'd be peeved too. This car was working fine. I mean, I've had no issues with this car for months. Haven't had any starting issues. Did not leave my lights on. It's it's in the afternoon right now, and I can't figure out why my car is not starting. So, I get into my car, it's not cranking, um, the lights on the dash work fine, the AC works fine, well the AC doesn't work fine, but uh, the AC works, but um, since the car's not running, I'm not getting any kind of um, cold air blowing, but the blow motor's fine, um, the radio's fine, the radio works, um, everything works the way it's supposed to, except it's not cranking. It's the big problem right now that I'm having with this car. And um, I've got ice cream in the back. And I need to take this home or the ice cream is going to be melted. But I think I'm probably going to just return it. Hopefully they, re they let me return it if this issue does not get resolved. So basically... What I've done so far is I've, you know, I, I thought maybe it was the battery that was the problem. I don't think it's the battery because everything works pretty good. I actually turn on the headlights and uh, I'm kind of like, well, it's sunny out, but I can actually see the headlights are pretty strong. So... The radio is good, the blow motor works, lights are on the dash, headlights work. So I don't think it's the battery. So I'm not going to walk into Walmart and uh, buy a battery. Even though that would be the cheapest thing to do and easiest thing to do. But I think I problem solved that um, issue. That's not a problem. It's 45 bucks or whatever. But I, I'm not going to do that because I, you know, the battery that I have was from last year. And uh, considering that everything in the car works the way it's supposed to, um, I'm not going to have any issues. I don't think I have any issues with the battery being weak or anything like that. I mean, it did not turn the head, did not turn on the headlights at all. So that's not an issue. I think I've cleared that out. Besides, um, I did have this jump. Like, um, it's one more parking lot. There's a lot of cars going around. I did ask a person to jump the car. Jump the car, put some cables on it. I had some cables, put some cables on it. Nothing. Same thing. Same thing that's happening. I turn the, uh, I turn the key, one click, nothing else on the dash, nothing that I could perceive to be an issue. Nothing. So I'm thinking at this point that it's the starter. Because I don't think it's the alternator at all because my car was not running when this thing, when it died. And if it was the alternator, putting cables onto it would have started the car up and it would have ran until the, the cables were taken off. So it's definitely not the alternator. It's definitely not the battery. And I'm thinking it could be a fuse or a relay. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it's not the starter because I, I did get the starter changed up like um, a year and a half ago. And a starter should last about 100, 150,000 miles. It should last a pretty long time. But uh, I will tell you guys that the starter that I got was a remanufactured, rebuilt starter. It wasn't brand new. But um, even if it was brand new, I can assure you guys that I've had issues with brand new starters. Not dying out well before it should die out and malfunctioning well before it should malfunction so um, 
but here's the problem if it is the starter I mean I think I have like a warranty on it it's probably past the warranty but even if I even if it was good I mean that's not the bigger issue the bigger issue is having to install it and that would be a pain in the butt to do because I don't have the time to do it I don't want to do it but I don't think it's the relay and the one thing I don't think the reason why I don't think it's the relay is because there's a click I mean if it's clicking it means that the solenoid there's power going to the solenoid there's power going to the solenoid of, of the car of the starter and that's why it's clicking because if I heard nothing when I turned the key I am pretty sure that it would have been like a dead relay or a fuse but then again I didn't test that out so I didn't test that out so I don't know I, I, I don't think it's the fuse or relay because I don't like I don't have any issues right now with anything not working and I've had issues with a relay not working on this car I, I know well not a relay not, not not a relay that's blown but a fuse that was blown and if it was a blown fuse I would be able to at least get the car to crank but it won't it won't stay on it won't you know it won't start I've had that issue before but uh it's like this is a case where I am pretty sure I am pretty sure that the starter is the problem now the other thing that I could do is I could try to find a way to bump the starter with like some kind of crowbar you know just um, thump on it a couple of times see if it actually starts up uh, I didn't do that uh, I'm probably not gonna do that because I gotta I'm probably not gonna do that um, I could test it out but um, everything kind of pretty much point to the fact that the starter is not initiating obviously the starter is not initiating um, so at this point it's either the fuse I've ruled that out a relay it clicks it clicks so, um, I mean, this is not the first situation I've had where the starter went out. It's not the first situation that I've had. So, uh, right now, I'm like 99% sure that my starter is dead on this car. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to return the starter to the shop and get another one. I can't because I think, I think the warranty is like one year on the starter that I had but aside from that aside from that unfortunately um, I'm probably going to have to get one from the junkyard or eBay an OEM version of it OEM version probably original um, here's the thing I've had pretty good luck with buying stuff like uh, alternators starters the original ones um, off of eBay used obviously I mean I'm, I'm taking chances but you're always taking a chance I mean couldn't tell you the amount of times that I bought used alternators put it in and uh, even used starter you know um, um, I rebuilt alternator rebuilt starter from like one of these shops um, auto parts stores and put it in and like it goes out on you like six months later or whatever sucks that way but I've had pretty good luck with these parts from eBay so I'm gonna get like an OEM part and I'm gonna put it in I mean I, I don't see what else I could do as far as that's concerned so I can't I can't I mean I tried like turning the key I've tried turning the key like you know I try starting it so many times. I've tried starting it so many times, but it's not doing anything. I mean, I this this is new to me. I mean, it, it'd be one thing if I had this situation come up like before, and then it started up after like a couple of tries. But I mean, the car's been running great, no problems whatsoever, and this happens like out of the blue. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. 
uh, return the bucket of ice cream that I bought. Hopefully they they take it back. I'm sure they will uh, before um, it's melted. All right, guys. Um, stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know um, what the issue was as far as this situation is concerned. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to call Triple A at this point, wait an hour, a while and a half, and then get this car towed. Kind of sucks. All right, guys. So yeah, it's the next day, and it was a stutter. Kind of sucks. I had a car towed, and. It was just a waste of time. I'm just wasting time. I was just wasting time. Hours and hours and hours. At least a couple of hours to get my car towed back to my house. And then I had to order a part. I told you guys I was going to order. Probably get one from the junkyard. But I was going to wait that long. I didn't want to wait that long. So I ended up going to, to the auto parts shop. Got another starter. It was rebuilt. Because the new, the new one was like a lot more expensive like a hundred bucks more expensive so I got the rebuilt one so I'm thinking about maybe just going and and just buy like a starter off of eBay used one off of eBay just for the future I'm thinking about that I don't know if I want to spend that you know I mean they're not expensive they're like 40 bucks or whatever but still um I don't trust rebuilt starters. I don't trust. I just don't trust non OEM parts. But unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to. I, I did that because because I'm pretty much. I didn't have too many options. But all right, guys. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please. Um, if you guys have any comments, please comment and uh, please subscribe, guys. All right, take care.